Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, hi, I'm Haley. I'm a college sophomore studying accounting and business. So I make a lot of college content on my channel, mostly vlogs, and I post a new video every single Saturday. So be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. Now that I've said that, today's video is gonna be interesting because I'm on three hours of sleep currently and it's Tuesday, it's a school day. So it's currently 7 a.m. I have class at 8.30 and I'm a commuter student. So I have to leave enough time to like drive to campus and walk to class from the commuter lot. And I did not get to bed till like 3.30 last night because I decided to be a normal college student yesterday. And even though my class ended at 5.45, I stayed on campus till probably about like 12.40 studying with a friend and then when i came home i had like a burst of energy and i was productive on campus which was good because i had to get caught up on a bunch of things because i kind of fell behind the past few days so i was able to catch up on things yesterday and i wanted to continue that when i got home so i was like okay i'm just gonna like sit at the kitchen counter and do some more schoolwork. and i never got the chance to like make a to-do list for the week because i like to kind of take 30 minutes on a sunday and kind of like map out a little to-do list for every day so i kind of have a basis of like what needs to get done this week but I didn't get the chance to do that so I did that at like 2 30 in the morning and then I showered and put on the clothes that I'm gonna wear today because at that point it was after three and I was like okay it's wearing it for a few more hours just to sleep in that's called efficiency so I didn't have to change this morning because I literally just put these clothes on like three hours ago yeah I wasn't planning to vlog today I was gonna vlog tomorrow but I feel like it would be more fun to vlog today because right now like I feel feel kind of tired because I just like woke up from like a little longer than a nap basically that's what it feels like but I also feel like okay it's fine because I debated like not going to my first class and just sleeping in but I'm like feeling okay now to go but I'll probably as the day goes on start to crash so it should be interesting yeah I have an 8 30 class and then I have another class at 11 45 and then I normally have a class at 1 30 on Tuesdays but my professor canceled class today so I have a bit of like a longer gap in between work and school because I have work at 3.20 so I kind of have a bit of a longer break in between where I could like go home and take a nap in the afternoon so I might do that I'll see how I feel later but that's the day right now I'm gonna go put on my glasses because I can't even see anything right now I'm already off to a bad start it's already 7 45 I have not left the house yet so I'm really hoping I don't get stuck in traffic right now and I'm also on like less than a quarter tank of gas but I still have 59 miles to empty so I think I'll live but I literally don't even have time to like go get gas right now so this is a good start I don't know why I expected a different result when I run late but of course I got stuck in traffic and now I should hopefully have enough time to walk over to class but like also the professor doesn't really care about lateness as long as I sign the attendance sheet I'll be fine but I'm already contemplating when I should go take a nap because the fun thing about being a commuter student is I have no place to go to sleep in between classes and I really don't want to just like push straight through the day and not get some sleep at some point because I have work later, so I'll figure that out. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. I ran out of coffee. I'm home. I don't know what's happening here. Hello. Yeah, I never really go home in between school and work because I just feel like it's too close to cut it and it's just easier for me to go straight. So I kind of wanted to get into like my accounting homework that I have to do because I know that's gonna take a while and I don't know what else is on my to-do list to be honest, but I was like, okay, let me kind of just like continue doing schoolwork and I'll like grab lunch because I didn't pack lunch this morning because I was trying to like sleep until the last possible minute so I could at least have like a solid three hours of sleep. So I wanted to get an acai bowl for lunch and I went on Grubhub to order it and it was like a 20 minute wait and I didn't feel like waiting that long. So I was like, okay, let me try to find something else. And then as I was trying to find something else, I had my AirPods in and I was listening to music and then my AirPods died. And my phone was also about to die too. And I only have like one iPhone charger on me. And I was like, okay, AirPods are dead. Phone's almost dead. I just want a nap. I'm gonna go home. So now I'm home. <laughs> I have to be at work 
in like less than an hour now because it's like 2.30. But I also have to leave a little earlier to leave enough time to get gas because I am amazed that my gas light hasn't gone on yet because this is probably the lowest I've ever let my car go because I did a drive back and forth to school and I'm on like less than quarter of a tank. So I need to leave enough time to go do that before I go into work. And then I also agreed to stay at work till eight tonight, which my bosses are funny because they'll, they know I like just say yes to everything, even if I'm tired because I like want to just take the hours. So my boss texted me and said like, oh, you want to stay till eight tonight to finish up something that I was doing. Doing. And he sent like a second thing that was like, if you're busy, you can say no. And I'm like, I could say no, you're right, but I'm gonna say yes. But also it, it PEMDAS or whatever, it cancels out because my last class was canceled today, but I'm getting the extra hour at work. So it, it evens out in the end. The main reason that I was like, I'm gonna go home is I tried to take a nap in between my first and second classes. I went back to one of the study spots that my friend showed me last night when we were in the library. So I was in the library again, even though I was just there last night because, you know, schoolwork never ends. And I was like, okay, I kind of want to take a nap, but I get very paranoid because I wasn't with anyone and I had like all my stuff with me and like my computer, wallet, phone, like everything. I was like, the last thing I need right now, like I'm in, I was on like a high floor of the library. I was in a pretty secluded spot, like where realistically the only people passing by are other students that like probably would not be stealing my stuff, but I'm just so paranoid that I'm like, I couldn't bring myself to fall asleep. So I was like, okay, great. And then I went to astronomy, that was my second class. We're not allowed to have any technology out in that class. And I always zone out in that class. One of the things I did last night was read my astronomy textbook ahead of time so that I could zone out in class and not have to worry about like, okay, what is this material? So I really just go for the attendance. And then we're not allowed to have out any technology to take notes or anything like that. Normally if I zone out in a class, it's with the intention of like, okay, let me like do some homework or something like that. But in this case, it was literally just me like hoping I don't fall asleep. One of the other reasons I came home was to like attempt to take a nap before I go into work because I've already been dealing with like kind of ha being in a brain fog since the start of the semester, which is definitely just because I'm overworking myself. And then I'm also physically, my body is recovering from having COVID a month ago. And I'm trying to be patient with that. Like I get winded easily and I'm dealing with that. And then I'm like, I don't know if like my brain fog has anything to do with the fact that I had COVID or it could just be like, I'm just exhausted. But I didn't want to just go into work on three hours of sleep. But even though I'm on three hours of sleep, I feel fine I feel okay which makes me nervous because that means I'm gonna crash later and be delirious towards the end of my shift which I'm really hoping that the sleep deprivation does not kick in until I get home because at least if I get home and it kicks in I can at least go to sleep but if I'm still at work that's gonna suck especially because my nap failed me I got home and made lunch by lunch I mean I heated up some frozen soft pretzels that were in the freezer and had a protein shake but then I was like all right I'm just gonna like chill on the couch and like try to take a nap and like I just have not been able to fall asleep like and now I'm like in my house like it's not like a paranoia thing I just like I'm not able to go to sleep. I think I'm just like mentally just like, okay, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. So that's what we're doing. So to continue to combat the sleep deprivation kicking in, I'm gonna go make another coffee. I think that might've been it too. I drank a lot of coffee this morning. So I don't know how I expected to like go to sleep after that, but I was kind of just hoping it would not take effect, but whatever. So I'm gonna go make another coffee to bring with me to work. And then I'm gonna head into work. Yeah, this is fun. I, I don't know why I feel so motivated right now to do stuff. Like, am I, am I good? Also, by the way, this is such a long clip, but just to give you an idea of like how often this happens where I'm running on like very minimal sleep. Like these are my eye bags <laughs> without my glasses. Like I'm not wearing any makeup today. These are what my eyes look like. Yeah. And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine. How I have not crashed yet is beyond me. I made it through work, very minimal sleep deprivation moments or maybe they just like manifested into like delirium because I just like would laugh at like random things but honestly like I had a pretty funny day at work so it was like kept me awake because I was just like laughing most of the time because I had one student come in and like as they sat down I like accidentally hit into the table because I had like a chair that like rolls around and I accidentally hit into the table and she's like you know you're one of my favorite instructors so I was like really is it because I'm a complete train wreck because I had just crashed into a table and they were like yeah and I was like 
cool, which I'm a math tutor by the way, I don't think I said that in this video. But then another student had come in later on and was saying how a lot of people will ask for me to teach them for the day because they know that I don't really care if they get things done. And so if they get me to like start talking about something, like we can just talk and like I don't have them do math, which is not my job. Um, that actually shows I'm kind of bad at my job. And I was like, oh, awesome. Um, but then I had like my absolute favorite student come in and like she wasn't on the schedule or like placed with anyone. Like my boss was trying to figure out where to put her. And the student literally just like looks over at the schedule and I wasn't supposed to take any students this hour because I was set to switch into like doing computer stuff. But the student was like, oh, but like Miss Haley's not taking anyone right now. And like asked if she could get placed with me. And I was like, so like that was super sweet that she like asked to see if she could get placed with me. I thought that was really cute. So that honestly made my day. Now it's over. It's 1040 right now. I got out of work a little after eight, but then I like got home, I ate dinner, and then I ended up being on the phone with my friend that's away at school right now for like over an hour. And I told her about how like I was up late last night and she's like, Haley, go to sleep because I definitely am gonna crash at some point and uh, I don't really want that to happen especially because I know I have another long day tomorrow and I'm kind of want to do like an every other day thing I can't like stay up late multiple nights in a row like I need a recovery night so I think I'm just gonna make tonight a recovery night and then if I need to stay up late again tomorrow to like catch up on things that I should have done today I will deal with that then I don't want to make a to-do list for tomorrow just to kind of feel set but I could also just like go to sleep now and like wake up a little earlier tomorrow morning to give myself some time to do that. I know I have like a bunch of things to do tomorrow. I kind of wanted to get stuff done when I got home but honestly like I got caught up talking to my friend and then like also I still kind of want to make sure I get to sleep like at least before midnight but I feel like if I start something by now because it's like almost 11 now, I feel like if I start something now, I'm gonna be up after midnight. So I'd rather just like go to sleep now. My body's not ready to rest. It's very weird right now. I feel like I could keep going and like keep getting things done and pushing through. But at the same time, like I don't wanna crash at my job tomorrow or oversleep or something because I stayed up late again. I'd rather just get like a full night's sleep. And I have a feeling once I get into bed and like put my head on the pillow, uh, it'll hit me like how much I need that sleep, so. I'm just gonna do that, end this video here. Apologize it wasn't the most exciting of days, but these are just how my days are. If you made it to this point, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. I post a new video every single Saturday, so be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. And also be sure to go follow me on my social media. I will have those usernames in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. I take the long way home Avoid what I can't let